What's going on, my fellow YouTubers? This is Demo Orange 97 and here today, guys, I'm presenting you another Star Wars Battlefront video. You know, I've been waiting a long time to do this, and you know, I'm really, like, I saw more gameplay of Battlefront, and I'm really looking forward to it. It looks like it's gonna be a big one. A really big one. And you know, um, you know, Battlefront has finally been able to be a great franchise. You know, I, like, look at everything Battlefront has to offer. The gameplay is solid, the graphics are beautiful, the, the sound design is, like, as I say, music to my ears. And, you now, it's gonna be something big. You know, I can't believe people in the world are still doubting this game. Because of, of stupid reasons. Such as, like, it's Star Wars or stuff. Like, or, you know, uh, it's nothing compared to Battlefield and stuff. Because look at this. Okay, they say, like, it's Star Wars, but... That complements this game because think of how memorable Star Wars is to so many people, myself included. You know, I loved Star Wars ever since, like, I loved it for almost a decade now. And, you know, it was such an amazing franchise, and I can't, you know, and for them finally make a game based off it that is like, you know, it's, it, like, it's the perfect blend of what I desire because I love shooters and I love Star Wars and now we're getting both. And, you know, it, it looks amazing. Look at this. Are you gonna tell me that this looks bad? That all this action, all this beauty, is bad because it's not it's something it's the future of gaming it can't we can no longer have games just trying to ooh which is have just the typical generic shooter over and over and dice is realizing that Battlefront is becoming more of the lines of the same so instead of changing up Battlefield too much, they're having a new franchise, Battlefront. And you know, that is the key. That is the reason why people want to be excited for this game, because it's Star Wars, Battlefront. We've been waiting for a Battlefront game for over a decade. And you know, it's Star Wars, a franchise that many will support and follow. And you know, if Star Wars was great in the movies, it can also be great in the game. And you know, you know, I think Star Wars is gonna be revived due to the fact that you know, Episode Seven is coming out, and then we have this game. And you know, this is gonna be the future. So guys, please, if you're still doubting this, support it. You know, and. I love Halo, and Call of Duty is really good as well to me, but those franchises are getting old, they're, they're, they're franchises that are over two years old, and, you know, we know that they're eventually gonna be stopped, they're not, that they're eventually gonna go down, and what better game to take its place than a Battlefront game, like, I really hope this game beats Call of Duty this year. I'm not saying that to be overly biased at this game, or, you know, a very, or to be a hater of Black Ops 3, but, but, think, but Black Ops 3 ain't, like, Battlefront is a superior game to Black Ops 3, and in many, in most areas, it's a superior game to Halo 5, and, you know, I don't understand why, Blackout 3 fan base just go like, oh, this is just gonna be another generic shooter, like a sci-fi battlefield. Because it's not. 
And, you know, if any game should beat out Call of Duty this year, it should be Battlefront. Or Battlefield. It has to be a BF title. Because, you know, Battlefront is hum hum ugh, humongous. You know, you have these big, epic battles. You have so much replay value. So many game modes and different ideals and different play styles. You know, you can't just say that... You know, I just don't understand why so many people are hating on this game. So, you know, that's why personally this game is going to be great. You know, it's going to shoot to be something greater and something more. So, you know, like, because, you know, we need a game beat out COD. Because, you know, I don't want Call of Duty on the top anymore because I don't want any more games following in its lead. You know, like, Call of Duty has quintessentially, in my mind, been on the top much longer than it actually deserved. You know, because with Ghosts, Ghosts released its crappiest franchise not franchise, game, in the franchise, and Ghost was the crappiest game in the franchise, and yet it still was the best-selling game. And, you know, when you compare it to Battlefield 4, that was amazing. Okay, I understand Battlefield had the failed launch, but even then, I'm willing to bet that even if Battlefield 4 didn't have that failed launch, then Call of Duty Ghost still would have won. Because, you know, it's ridiculous. Call of Duty has just became such a high loyalty by fans. You know, don't get me wrong, I love loyalty from a franchise, but I hate it when they get a game that they know is bad and still defend it to its breath and try to say it's better than a game that's amazing. Because, you know, Battlefront is going to be an amazing game, and I'm not saying Black Ops 3 is going to be bad, but it's not gonna be as big as this. And, you know, same with Halo. I love Halo to death. And I probably will prefer Halo overall just because of my loyalty to the franchise. But I'm gonna say Battlefront's a superior game. If a casual asks me, should I buy Halo 5 or Star Wars Battlefront? I will tell them to buy Star Wars Battlefront. Not unless that they're very specific on what they desire. Because this is the future of gaming. So, you know, it's just overall, it's going to be something a lot better. You know, can we really expect things? So, you know, guys, like, you can't... If we're gonna succeed in making Star Wars a great, great franchise, then we have to move forward. We can't constantly rely on certain video games to last us, because eventually, Halo and COD are eventually gonna go down. And, especially in my opinion, COD, because, you know, unlike Halo, COD doesn't have much more material to work with. You know, Halo, you can still have the expense of war to make games based off. Plus, Halo has made books and video games and stuff. Call of Duty hasn't really done any of that. So, I do feel Halo is a longer enduring franchise, or could be or should be a longer enduring franchise. Because I feel like COD now just doesn't have anything left to work with. You know, you can't keep going centuries into the future, otherwise people are going to get pissed. But, you know, the past and modern day has nothing left to work with. Call of Duty is really one of those franchises that's just... It's just eventually going to die. You know? And, n maybe not die, but... I don't want it to die by any means, but it's going to go downhill, and I... And I don't want Call of Duty on the top anymore. I want a true game to be on the top. A true game that's going to be like, that puts everything it possibly can on the table. And I feel if any game does that, it's Battlefront. 
you know, because, you know, it's going to be a big one. It brings everything to the table. The only thing Battlefront doesn't have is a campaign, but even then, it wasn't advertising that. You know, they were never promoting that they were going to have one, as well as, because, you know, none of the previous Battlefronts had a campaign. They had historical missions, and, um, you know, Battlefront 2 sort of had a story, but it wasn't, it was more of an excuse. So, you know, this new Battlefront's not really bothering. And, you know, they kind of realized from the COD games, barely any people play campaign anyways. So, you know, like, so Battlefront's committing its effort to its multiplayer and its survival mode. And overall, it's going to be great. So... You know, like, the only thing I could possibly hate about Battlefront right now is a few things. One, there's no Clone Wars or Space Battles. And, as well as, I do wish the scale was higher than 20 v 20. But, those are really my only possible complaints with this. Other than that, the game is amazing. You know, like, are you going to honestly hate on this game? Because honestly, people are hating on this for stupid reasons. And I'm like, no, stop. Stop hating on a game that... I understand if you're not a fan of this, but stop saying it's going to suck just because of, ooh, well, it's Star Wars, so it's childish. Or, ooh, this and ooh, that. Like, or, it's just 20 v 20, so the scale's nowhere near the amount of battlefield. Or, blah, blah, blah. You know, you know, it's still gonna be an epic scale. And, again, in my mind, Star Wars complements the game. Because instead of having a generic military shooter theme, we have a franchise that's defined people's childhoods. It has been an epic sci-fi masterpiece. So, you know, that's why, overall, I believe Star Wars is going to be a great, great franchise. Like, are you going to tell me? So, you know, like, because I know they're going to make a sequel to this and stuff, and I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to DLCs. I'm looking forward to everything with this game. So I hope, I hope desperately that this game will turn out to be the true Star Wars game we've, as fans, been waiting for. So, you know, guys, I think, you know, like, that's why overall this game is going to be great. Because... It just brings so much to the table. We're we're not getting just bullcrap games anymore. We're getting something more. Something bigger and better and greater among the lines. So, you know, that's overall why. You know, I don't think we should be hating on this game for stupid reasons. Let's look at the bright spots for this game. Let's think positive. And you know, that's overall what we need. We're gonna need a game that is truly big, that's truly great. You know? So that's why this game, that's why in my mind I wanna support this game, why I believe this should be the best-selling and most popular game of 2015. You know? So, yeah. So, I hope people understand what I'm trying to say here. So, you know, and I don't really know what else to say, so, you know, I'm just, like, I'm hoping this game will be incredible. You know, please don't fail. Don't get, don't have this game fail on us. 
the people who are supporting it. And, you know, allow this game to be something great. So, you know, that's why this is over. This is my reasons why we should support this game. You know, because it's going to shoot for something big. It's going to be a great game. Why do people keep denying it? Why do people constantly refuse to accept that this game is going to be a true game? That that's going to be a true great game. You know, because it's Star Wars. It's Star Wars. It's been great in the movies, the TV shows, the comics. Why can't it be great now in a video game? And the answer is it can and will be a great game. You know, I'm not psychic. I can't tell the future, but by everything I've seen so far, this looks like this is going to be the game. You know, and that's what I desire. And I'm hoping so badly that this will be the great Star Wars game that we know Star Wars can and will be. You know? Star Wars has played a role in many people. In many people's lives and many people's idols. And it plays a role of who I am today. You know? And that's overall that one thing I desire. What we desire as a community, what we truly know, is that Star Wars will be the future of gaming, you know, Star Wars Battlefront, because look, we can't t keep holding on to the past, it's time we move forward into a greater future, and Star Wars Battlefront is that future, it's it's, and I see a bright future in the industry if this game succeeds. If this is the best selling and most popular game. If this is truly gonna be a big and amazing game. You know, it's nothing that's gonna be revolutionary or, you know, stuff that's innovative. And it's a powerful game that has so much going with it, it has so much that fans desire, and you know, that is why we will support it, that is why we are, that is why Star Wars Battlefront will return and overall be something amazing, now will we, will we continue to fall like this book? Are games just meant to just be Call of Duty, Call of Duty, Call of Duty? Or are we, or, or just having some generic shooters in the world? Or are we gonna have, like, or just generic games, like Assassin's Creed and, um, etc. Like, you know, like Assassin's Creed, um, Killzone and stuff. Those are generic games. Or are we gonna get incredible games? Star Wars Battlefront, and overall that answer is up to us, by supporting the games that need to be supported, the games that need our love, and this is one, because this game is being built new and fresh, it doesn't have a true big fan base yet, unless we together make one. You know, it's time we give support to this game, and overall, ensure that it will be the game that we've been waiting for. This is Dumb Orange 927, and peace out.